This one is a little difficult. To bring a stored, a stored, a stored oh. file. Okay, to bring a stored file from a diskette. Oh, can't believe that much. From a disk. Okay, some of you may not know what that is. Diskette. Okay, into the computer's memory. Okay. Memory. Okay. What do you got to do? Now, this is really weird language. It says to bring a stored file, a stored file, from a diskette into the computer's memory. What do you got to do? Now, when I tell you the answer to this, you guys are like, oh my god. First of all, what's a diskette? A uh, computer. That's before your time. You guys are too, too, too advanced for this stuff. What do you got? Is it those um, old CD-shaped things that you put CDs in and you close the top and you have like headphones and you listen to it? No, that is a CD. It's like a CD. Um, that's so old. I don't even remember the name. Um, a CD player. That's a CD player. Not a CD player. It's something you used to use years ago. If you wanted to put like a program in a computer. Oh, Whoa, what do you got? Oh, no. It made me nervous. Oh my God, sorry. So what's the answer? Nobody knows? Well, listen, when I was in school, the most popular computer was something called a Commodore. A Commodore, it's like Atari back in the days, okay? So this Commodore, in order to play a game or to have a program, you had this floppy disk that looked like a, like a piece of paper like this big, okay? And you, you go like this with it. You put it inside the computer and then it would read. Now, what this question is saying, is to bring a stored file, something like this, a program, okay, from a diskette into a computer's memory, what do you got to do with it? Copy I just gave the answer. Inside the insert. Put it inside if I'm inserting or putting it inside, what's that called? Let's get the special technology language. What are you doing with that? Scanning. Installing. I'm not scanning it. I'm not installing it. I'm Inserting. plugging it in. I'm not plugging it in. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? You're inserting it somehow. I definitely am. I always am. That's what I do. I'm a teacher. So what am I doing? I'm taking this and I'm putting it in the computer. What am I doing? Putting it in. I already downloading it. When your parents ask you, do me a favor, come help me out so we could put the groceries in the car. What are you doing? Putting I'm moving them, but I'm also... Starts with the L. Loading. There you go. The answer is loading. Okay, so you got to load. Wow. Wow. I know. I mean, it took forever. I was like pulling teeth in here. Think how we're not playing hangman. All right, so... To bring a stored file from the disk in into the, the computer's memory, you have to load it. You can just say something easier. When you play a game, what do you need to do? <laughs> You're right. You, load the down there. you could say it a lot easier. Now, that's the difference between the old technology and new technology. Would you say that the old technology, like the old computers, were they more user-friendly or less user-friendly? Less. Right less user-friendly. Like now, you don't even know anything about computers, and you can have a MacBook and just be able to surf the web, right? No problem. Now, if you ask your mom or dad, forget about your mom and dad, ask your grandma or grandpa wow. if they know Please. what the internet is. Will they say, yeah, they know? Sometimes. Ask your grandma or grandpa, do you want to Skype somebody in China? They're going to look at you like you're crazy. What's Skyping? What's Skype? All right? What is Skyping? Oh, this guy's been out of date. He's got to go. All right, but now, what did people used to do if they wanted to communicate years ago? What oh, do they do? oh, oh, um, letters. Letters? Who writes a letter anymore? <laughs> Does anybody here write a letter? What do we do now instead of writing letters? Oh, text. We text or we email. Email is even old now. Who writes an email anymore? Why do you write email when you can just text somebody, right? Because uh, mom doesn't let me text. Your mom doesn't let you text? I'm the dark person in my You know what's funny? Nowadays, if you write somebody an email, it's actually more personal. What it means is it's actually more heartfelt. If you send somebody a text, it's like, you know, it's like impersonal. It's like you really don't care. I just want to let you know something. So emails have taken the place of letter writing. Now, how many of you would prefer to get a letter handwritten versus an email? You want a real letter, right? Yes. Anybody get a real letter? Uh, anybody don't care anymore, just prefer to get an email? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, that's how it is. Like, let's say, what holiday is coming up right now? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, there you go. So Valentine's is a popular holiday. What are you supposed to do on Valentine's Day? Is that Chinese Well, that's a double whammy. You got Chinese New Year plus Valentine's and you're going to go broke. All right, so now, when you have a Valentine, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to write a letter. Write it out. Take your cologne, curve, whatever you guys get, Gucci. Huh? Yeah. It's very personal. What are you going to give 
have a girlfriend for Valentine's Day. I'm definitely not going to send her an email because she's going to dump me. Okay, so I have to, have, to, have to definitely write her a letter. But I give her like some chocolates. But the idea is if you're in a relationship and you send your girlfriend or boyfriend, happy Valentine's Day and that's it. <laughs> is that sufficient? <laughs> no. They're going to hate you, right? So what we're seeing now is technology. I mean, this idea, even this question is very old. Okay, the idea is you have to load something, but do we use the word disket anymore? No. No, no. Man. What do we have now to say we're called? Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Are disquettes clear? Like you see through it? Yes, you can see through it, but what do we have now as opposed well, to disquettes? I think I flash drive. Flash drive, that's the sexy word, flash drive. So, <laughs> flash, flash drive. Can you hear me? Okay. The flash drive. Now, why do we call it a flash drive? It's flash. It's not flash, okay? Yeah, it does flash. Yeah, it's around. Red light it's pretty cool. Like if you plug it in, it does flash red light. But is a flash drive more efficient than a diskette? Yes, of course. Is it safer? Yes, no. Yes, yes. yes. because yeah, the diskette very, very I sensitive. Yeah. So. I I saw one before. A uh, diskette? If you go to the museum, you can see one too. That's how I, old I they are. I've seen one in a It's store. completely old. Actually, if you have an old Commodore diskette in mint condition, and you go on eBay. You could sell it for a lot of money. I had one. You had one? Go? Yeah, but it broke. Oh my God. <laughs> could, you could have been a millionaire like Steve Jobs. Like <laughs> a billionaire. All right, one more question. Come on. You so we're finding out. Do you have a ticket? Yeah. I actually have one, yeah. It's crazy. So why would you sell it? A Give me it. Because I'm going to have children one day and I'm going to pay for college and it's expensive. Okay? So then maybe the disc get a hobby pay for college. Yeah.